Howdy. How's everybody out there in YouTube land? I've got a new project here that I'm going to work on. I mentioned it on my show Monday night that I would be doing some more videos this week on working with the UPOs on the acrylic pores and the, the um, parts that are left over off of them after trimming or uh, parts that's picked up off of the um, drip tray and uh, what we can do with those to keep them from going to waste. And one of the projects that I'm going to work on here is an aluminum cup. And you can get these at Walmart or uh, probably most any of the big box stores carry these things. And they have them in all different colors and all. And I picked this up a while back um, thinking that I would probably be doing some kind of a project with it. And this seems to be the one that it's crying for. So this is the one that we're going to do. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to paint it with the Liquitex alcohol ink in a metallic or several metallic colors. And I have um, some of you pose that Amanda sent me from Chroma Storm Arts. And I'll tell you what I've done here. I started out taking it and running it through the Spellbinders um, platinum machine that I have with an embossing folder and the embossing folder looks like this if we can get it up here where you can see it it has all kinds of clockworks and stuff on it and so I put that through the embosser and embossed the bejeebies out of it then I wanted to highlight it a little bit to make the design stand out so I went over it with some gold metallic alcohol ink and then I took the hole punch to it this is a scalloped hole punch and one and a half inch and I punched 12 of these out then I have these left over and I thought these would make good stencils and I may go over it with some of these used as stencils too to mark in some spots and stuff on this. So I'm going to get going here and I'm going to start out um, with a paper towel and some alcohol ink. And I think I'm going to start out with um, this copper. We'll shake it up a little bit here to mix it good. And then I'm just going to drop some on my paper towel, you can see here. And I'm going to use that as a dauber to daub around on this a little bit. And stick my hand in there. Just daub it all down over the sides. So it gives it a little texture along with the paint going on that black. And I'm running out of paint here on my paper towel, so I'll put a few more drops on there. Move that off the sides so I don't knock it over. Just keep patting it on there. need it puddling anywhere. Just kind of put a nice thin coat tamped onto it. I'll cover the whole thing. The black still shines through good, but the copper puts a little color to it. And I'll put the lid back on the copper. And then I think I will come in with a little gold on that and I'm going to use the same 
paper towel here that was using and put a little gold on there and again I'll set that out of the way so I don't knock it over and just tamp a little of that gold up and down it different colors to it to make it shiny you can still see the copper through that and see the gold on there Okay, now I'm going to let this dry just a little bit here. Maybe blow on it a little bit to help it dry. And let that set up some. I'll try to ease that off of there. And just let that dry a little bit. I think what I'm going to do next is I'm going to take my little templates there that I'm going to use as stencils. And I'm going to put a few little circles on this. See how that works out with, um, I think I'll go in with a little silver on that. We'll shake that up a little bit there. I'm not bothering to paint the bottom of it. I don't know if the bottom needs to be painted, but we'll paint the, the sides on it. I'm trying to keep the paint off of my little silver rim up there. And Let's see here. How do I want to do this? Thinking, 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 thinking. Um, I'm going to use that off again. I'm going to put a little paper towel, kind of wad it up underneath it a little bit to maybe hold it up some. And that way I have a hand free here. And we want the paper towel we was using, and we're going to put a little silver on there. I'm going to try this. I don't know if this will work or not. If it don't, well, that's okay. We'll do some other things to it. But we'll put that right down on there. And hold it down good. And then just want to tamp that around on there to show the design. And ease it back up off of there. It ain't perfect, but it don't have to be. And I'm not going to put a whole bunch of them on there. Blow that a little bit to dry it. Let's see. We want these offset a little bit here. So let's put one down here. Pull that up off of there. Now, just clean the edge of that up just a little bit. Okay. Then we'll move this around a little bit. And I'll put another one about there, I guess. Gentle it down. Hold that on there. Find my little silver spot on my towel. And plunk that down on there good. And there's that one. Now, apparently I'm getting a little silver paint on the back 
of my stencil. So we'll wipe that down good. And I'll move that around some, being careful not to smudge the parts that I've painted with the paper towel that I'm laying it down on. And take that, see if there's any more silver paint in there. Whoops. Stencils moving around on me. Not a whole lot of silver paint left on there to put a design to it. So we'll try that again. A little more paint. Just tap it on there real gentle. Maybe come back and pick a little of that off there. There we go. And we'll come up here. Tap one in right there. Oops, don't slide away from me. And we'll come down here and tap on another one. And I think I'll put one more on there. And there we go. And that'll do it with the ones that I'm painting on that way. Then I've got these that I stamped out with a with a little punch, a whole pile of them. Try to get that so you can see that there. See a little clockwork all designed in it there with the embosser. And then I'm gonna take these and I'm gonna glue them in various spots around this mug and to glue them down i'm going to use these 6000 because i want them to stay i figure it's a mug and it's something that's going to be used a lot and i do not want these to peel up or to leave the surface so we're going to put a little e6000 on there and we're going to rub it on real good with a a Q-tip, get it pushed into the nooks and crannies on there. All the way to the edges. Then I'm just going to pick a spot and plunk it down and hold it down on there. Make sure that it's pressed down all the way on that mug. Now once I get all these placed, then I'm going to let the glue set up and then I will come in with um, and I don't see it sitting right here where I can show it but it's the Mod Podge with the blue label. There it is. I thought I got it out. Mod Podge with the blue label. The reason I use this one is this is water-based sealer and it is glue and finish uh, tolerant and it is dishwasher safe for the top rack of your dishwasher or you can hand wash it so that's why I use that and I'll seal it up real good with that and I just want to make sure that that stays down good and don't try to curl up or anything on me and then we'll get a little more glue here Put some glue on another one. This is a good way to use up these leftover pieces. It doesn't have to be UPO either. I mean, if you're doing this on canvas paper, um, whatever you're using to do your pours on, you can cut them out, punch them out, cut them out, whatever you're doing, and use them up and not let all that go to waste. That's been one of the things that I've heard people complain about most about these pores is 
wasted paint and wasted paper, wasted supplies. It doesn't have to be wasted. You can use them up. So we got place there where some paint moved around on that. So we'll cover that up. Put a little glue on another piece here. You can leave me your comments. Tell me what you think about this project. If you like this idea. I've got a couple more things that I'm going to be doing with you pose on videos this week to show you other ways that you can use them. And I call them you pose. I, I'm using that term very loosely because, uh, like I say, you can do this with your canvas, whatever you're using to do your pores. Now, this piece is not wanting to cooperate with me real well because I'm putting it on that little curve of the cup. I may have to come in with some more glue underneath that. Come on now. Maybe move it up a little bit. May have to be held a little longer too. Rome wasn't built in a day. Sometimes we have to be patient. Wait until it decides to start setting up and sticking. Just have to be patient with it and wait for it to do its thing. Part of it's being a little stubborn. And it's because of that curve in the cup. I have to get some more glue out here on my mat for this. Yeah. Get a little more glue out here. In case you're wondering about this mat that I'm using, is all this is is a great big old plastic envelope something come here in. Makes a nice little desk mat for projects like this where you're gonna be using a lot of glue and a lot of paint. I'm not wanting to Stain everything up. I don't see one of these other ones that I put down is trying to peel up too. Not like a nap. I hated to have to use epoxy on it. But if it's going to push my buttons, I might have to get that. I think it's laying around here on my table someplace where I was using it on another project. I'm not concerned about the glue that's leaking out around the edges of this because once it's dry, I can clean that up off of there pretty easy. We'll just take it one step at a time, just glue them down.
here. Let me take the paper towel around it a little bit, clean some of that up while it's wet. The rest of it will come off when it's dry. Got my computer doing all kinds of little dances over here. We'll get it under control. All right. We'll let that sit up some there. And we'll come back here and we'll work on some of these other ones that's trying to peel. Holy moly. I'll just hold it until it decides that it wants to cooperate with me. It'll be persuaded. Persuaded one step at a time. So now that one seems to be staying down pretty good. And we will move over here to this first one that we put on. Right under the edge of that, it's wanting to act up. Get a little more glue here. I don't like to put too much glue out on the mat at one time because it tends to dry out. And we don't want that to happen. So a little bit at a time, a little dab of doo, like the old Brill Cream commercial. Sure, I haven't got it all over my fingers to stick me to it. I don't want to be like Burr Rabbit. Wonder if anybody remembers the story of Burr Rabbit and the Tar Baby. Burr Rabbit got stuck to the Tar Baby and couldn't get loosed. Some of that dry glue off of there. There we go. Now that one seems to be going down pretty good. This side's peeling up on this one. I feel like I'm juggling plates. Come on. <laughs> this was supposed to be a really easy little project here. I didn't expect this glue to give me such a hard time with these things. It'll work, it's just going to take a little longer than I expected. There, now that one seems to be down. And we'll come back and we'll take a look at this other one. This, this is the difficult one because of the side of this cup taking a turn. It's got to be glued down good. You don't want it sticking up none because if it does stick up, then water and stuff's going to get underneath that when you go to washing it, and it'll just peel off, and we don't want that. The Mod Podge is going to help it some when I go sealing it with the Mod Podge, but you don't want any big old loose places on it. So I'll we'll just apply a little pressure, let her set up. Anything worth having is worth waiting for, they say. So we'll just take it one step at a time. You can see that glue's just going to peel right off, off of that when it's dry. So other than the fact you got a little cleanup from the glue coming out of the edges of it and it's sliding around on there. It's not a big deal. It's 
not taking the alcohol ink up. And if it, even if it did, you could always come back in with a little alcohol ink and stain it back up again before you seal it. For goodness sake, stay put. One spot, stay down. Get all done with this, it will be a one of a kind. Nobody else will have another and like it. Nobody could reproduce it. You could buy another cup and you could always hit it with some alcohol ink, but the UPO or the pour is what makes it the big difference on it. You can't reproduce those pours. Those pours are what they are. They are their own artwork. You can run them through any kind of an embossing folder in whatever kind of machine you got and put whatever design on them you want. I suggest, though, that after you put the design on, you're going to want to go over them with, I don't care, use rub and buff. Use, uh, I'm using alcohol metallic inks. Yeah, you could use uh, uh, some watered down acrylic paint. You want to put a little something on them to bring out that pattern in the embossing. You see there the gear or the clock face, little gears and stuff in that. And this is just going to be a problem child here, isn't it? Not wanting to stick down. Just to holding it down there, letting it dry, letting that glue grab. It just keeps buckling because of being on that curb. And I may just need to take that off of there and stick it up here someplace else and not worry about that curve on it. It seems to be wanting to stick up there on a flat piece. Okay, well, okay, we're learning. We're learning as we go here. It does not like the curve on there and we're going to have to take that glue off. And we'll just rub that. glue off of there. You got to be careful what you use to take the glue off because you can't use alcohol. You use alcohol, you're going to take your ink back off unless you want to repaint. And you could use Acetone, that's going to do the same thing. Take your paint off there. So you just have to be patient and just rub it off. And hold it down just a little bit more. Make sure we burnish it down there good. And that took all that glue off of there. Well, maybe a smidge over here. We can rub that off too. And then these is wanting to come back up. So push down on these two. 
Make sure we get them down good. Just hold them down, a little pressure. Put the cap back on my ink so it don't dry out. On my bone folder here. Rub it down good. Probably hear my canaries in the background over there fussing over the food bowl. glue on there we'll scrape that off there make sure we got them pressed down good Okay, those three seem to be in pretty good shape right now as far as being glued down. I have to come back and clean up all that glue around them a little bit more. Don't want to seal them up with all that mess on there. Uh, there's all kinds of things you can do to decorate these cups. You don't have to do this on them. You can do the uh, transfers. Um, they're like a plastic transfer. I think they're called water slides that uh, you can use on them. You can you can even cut out your scrapbook paper stuff, you know, whatever. Put whatever paper thing on there that you want to put on. Just glue it down real good. And... Then seal it up and get a little more glue out here. Okay, the glue all over my fingers. Don't help me clean things up much, does it? <laughs> Get a little of that off of me. Yeah, that's looking pretty good. Get some of this rubbed off down here. It's going to look worse before it looks better. So, if it starts looking just awful and you're thinking, Lord, what kind of mess she making? Remember, got to look worse before it looks better. Now, I'm not liking the way the edge is standing up on that. So, we'll take a little of this glue and we'll put it under the edge of that, all down around the bottom there. Hold it down. Okay, now. Be 
being the fool for punishment that I am, we're going to put another non there. <laughs> now, let's see. I'm going to put it right in there. And we wait. Watching glue dry isn't a whole lot different than watching paint dry, to be quite honest. <laughs> because of the curve of the cup and the stiffness of the Uvo, I mean, it's flexible. It's like a vinyl, you know, it just, it'll fold and roll up and stuff. Similar to paper, it's a little stiffer than paper. But it's stiff enough that it doesn't want to just conform to the curve of the cup. And that's what's giving us a little grief here. Okay. Now we've got a spot over in here that hasn't got anything. So we don't want no bare spots on this. We're going to take another piece, butter it up with some. E6000. Get a nice coat on there. You don't want no air pockets in this, and you don't want any edges that aren't covered because then it sure is not going to seal. So we're going to get that glue on there. I learned my lesson with that curve. We're not going to try to put nothing on the curve again. We'll put it up here on the cup. Burnish her down. Just like that. And our plain old black cup is turning into a masterpiece here. Now we've got to get all the dry glue off from around them. Goodness sakes. See, I wouldn't want to use hot glue on something like this because it's hot glue. And when it gets hot, it melts. So if you put a hot beverage, say you put a big jug of coffee in this thing and it's good and hot that will heat up the metal and it will cause the glue to melt and would cause your decals and u bows or whatever you got on there to peel up so that's not going to work you need something good and heavy duty like an epoxy or e6000 or something of that nature I'm just holding them, pushing them down till they dry a little bit here. Now, once these are all good and dry, I will come back again with a little extra glue if I need to, to glue them down and hold them down some more. And then, once everything is dry, and I've got everything glued down the way I want it, with no gaps and, you know, no... Uh, No spaces or anything because I want them glued down good. Then is when I will come in with the Mod Podge blue label.
and seal her up good. And then this will be a project that I will be showing you next Monday night on the show of how it is completed. I will have her all done and, and pretty by then. All the dried glue off of it. Everything stuck down good and sealed up. A place like that, I may come back over that with a little bit of alcohol and a Q-tip and clean that up a little bit. That's the thing about alcohol ink. It's pretty forgiving. A little bit of alcohol change it up for you. Already got most of that glue cleaned up off of there. It's looking pretty good so far. For what I've done. But I can see it's probably going to need to sit overnight and set up good. And then I'll need to touch it up some tomorrow and let it dry some more. But there is that project well underway. And these I have for another project that's coming up where I'm going to be working on a lamp globe that I'm turning into a centerpiece um, dish. And I'll show you that one in another video here. And I've got uh, a whole bunch of stuff that I'm going to be putting in that one. So that is the end of this one for now. And we will show you the rest of it on Monday night's live stream, 8 p.m. Um, Eastern time. So I hope you join us for that. Everybody seems to have a real good time in the chat room and, and uh, enjoys the chatter and the fun. So come on on to that show and see how this pretty cup turns out. If you like what I'm doing here, give it a thumbs up, share it on your social media so everybody gets to see how we do things. And be sure and um, subscribe if you have not done that yet. That way you get, uh, you'll get you get notifications if you click that little bell on every time I put up a show. So with that, we'll shut this one down and we'll see you in the next one.